all right everybody welcome back to the channel downtown network we're here with ghost recon breakpoint and uh let me just go ahead and hop in here i gotta say man this game is kind of a disappointment for me i got the you pay play plus subscription specifically for this game because i thought it would be cheaper to play it that that way but honestly I played this for 45 minutes and I'm bored out of my friggin' mind. It is just the most boring looter shooter that you can possibly think of. But we're gonna cover it here on Downtown Network. This is probably gonna be my only video. Um, but I'll just show you what it has to offer right now. So essentially, this game you're a ghost, like always, with the Ghost Recon series, and you're tasked with going to uh, an island called Aurora, and it's basically controlled by the Skull Technology Corporation. Oh my god, this has already turned into a fucking train wreck. You, We all spawned in the same place. Well, we're pretty close to the Halloween, so, you know, how apropos is this? Good lord, he's got spirits coming out of him. So, my guy's the old guy. Whoop, there we go. Good lord. Yep, that's, that's the perfect way to start this off. It really is. It really is. So, these menus are the most convoluted thing I've seen in video games in some time. So, of course, obviously, you have your quest log right here. Your objective board, which I don't even know what my objective is anymore. There's investigations, collectibles. We can collect weapons. Yep, collectibles. We all know what collectibles are. It's video games. Uh, various attachments for your weapons. Investigations. So, you need to find clues. So, they're like side missions, essentially. But from what I'm reading on the internet, these things are... They make it sound like they're very story heavy, but then whenever you actually go into the main story, it's like these things didn't even matter. So that's kind of disappointing me. Here's your loadout. So it's kind of like a destiny in a way. You have your uh, your gear on one side here with um, the ratings, essentially. And then you get an overall rating score, I believe, somewhere. I don't know where that. And then you also have your weapons and your inventory stuff. Your loadout. You know, your loadout. And I think you can pick... Um, yeah, you can pick a different class. Uh, I don't know where that is. The, oh, here it is. Class. So, skills. You have your whole big skill tree. Skill tree is freaking massive. Well, not, not, not that massive. <clears throat> Not nearly as massive a, as 2K20's My Career Mode. <laughs> Which, um, we will get to that one in another video. But, so yeah, you got Field Medic, which can heal and revive friendly teammates. Assault, which is a recoil, recoil reduction and damage resistance. Heals, heal, and extend duration. That's why I wanted to do that one. Because um, I basically play this solo. And that's probably the wrong play to play a Ghost Recon game in this day and age. Because I didn't like Wildlands. And I don't really like Breakpoint either. But I think that's because uh, I don't play with any friends at all. I just play solo and these games I don't think are meant for that. Uh, but anyway, getting to the back to the skills. Uh, cloak and Run, Disappear behind a smoke screen and sharpshooter high penetration bullets with bonus damage and muzzle velocity so that's your sniper class this is your stealth class your you know normal assault rifle you know running gun class and then a, a healer so i don't have any skill points to spare 
that. Uh, typical, you know, customize your character. And he will be customizing, like, cutscenes and all that, too. So, eh, maybe we'll give him some tattoos. Let's give him some friggin' tattoos. Yeah, he's nomad. Nomad tattoo. Hell yeah. Yeah, there we go. He's all tatted up. Face camo. Why not? Can I give him face camo while being old man? Hell yeah. All right. All right. So, score <laughs> completion 0%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of it, too, is just, like, getting from one place to another is so painstakingly boring and lame. You know? Yeah, here's all your missions, and you're basically trying to take down the whole organization of, of Skell. But, yeah, so, let's try and figure out what the hell our next objective is here. So... Uh, d -d 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 find survivors in Ur One. Uh, wha what? Hey, looking good. Did, uh, you, you get the job done out there? Didn't think I'd make it back. Sentinel is grabbing our people on site. We've got to tighten up. Okay then. All right, so I don't know who we're actually going to see or what we're going to do. Is this one of the uh, survivors I need to talk to? Greetings, stranger. It's a hell of a rig you got there. Yeah, she's a beaut, ain't she? This is just a little maintenance work, but yeah, we managed to set up a system of hydropower with parts printed by the 3D lab. Well, you printed the parts? Pretty wild, huh? You should see the stuff Startup was putting together. Hell, they could print much larger designs. Complex machinery, working parts, those kind of things. Really? This tech was invented to make the world accessible to everyone. When Sentinel took over the island, they started printing parts for their deadly drones. It ain't right. Again with this? Look, we already know how you feel. When I saw what they were doing with the program, I left. Joined up with the homesteaders. But hey, if you're interested, why not check out the Startup? Yeah, where's that at? It's called, uh, Polymorph Modeling. It's down in the southeastern part of Smuggler Coves, west of the swamp. Thanks for having my back. Okay. <laughs> uh, I still don't... Alright, so the recommended level, power level, is 150, and I'm at, like, 7 right now, so that's not what we want to do. We need to find... Find the other ghosts. There's just so many missions, and you just don't know what to do next, really. You know? Or where on my map do I actually go to next? I guess that's the question. So, I need to find a vehicle. That That is something that I have yet to do here. Find a vehicle. You mean to tell me there's no vehicles lying around this friggin' whole town area?
Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. That's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. It'd be a pretty island without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Uh, well, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one day I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the Naval Station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now, you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Alright, that didn't give me much information about what I'm supposed to do next. Oh, I guess I got clues. Not since last week. I'm sure everything's fine. My dad died. He gave me a last time I saw him, you stomp and come here like a goddamn hurricane. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Well, that's not good. I was wondering. Hey. Couldn't help but over here. There's some kind of problem. We're not sure. Our friend Samuel's missing. You a homesteader? Yeah, he used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer to nature, or something like that. And then he gives the furs and leftover meat to the camp. Never takes anything in return. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week, he was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then... This week? Nothing. Samuel's always had a temper, but in this place, these days... You say the wrong thing to the wrong person, well, you know. Yeah, I know. Say, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around to the southeast of Garden Mangrove, northeastern part of Gairam. I'll see if I can find him. Thanks. Appreciate your help. So, I'm just collecting a bunch of side missions, but I really just want to get into the actual meat of the combat. That's what I'm really interested in doing. Okay, here we go. I think this is part of the main mission here. Are you boys all right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. I'm there for any more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. 
Probably shouldn't have talked to him first. <laughs> and Someone then did sank this. a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, our choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. All right, so obviously the yellow pins are the main missions. The orange pins are the side missions, so that's good to know. Oh. Hey. How are you, man? Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. <sighs> Here. Here's another superpower. <sighs> I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. All right, mission complete. So we got a drone now. And we also got a skill point, which means... Da -da -da -da. So I got a little bit more ammo now. Okay, so you have your weapon objectives, your equipment objectives, Ghost War, which is a PvP mode, tutorial missions. Okay. All right, so.
I wanted to see if we could get maybe some combat going on here. I don't want to just show cutscenes here in the in the look at it. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. Yeah, Shane from The Walking Dead. John Bernthal. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <clears throat> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Dude, I get it with the friggin' tutorials, man. Holy crap. Okay, so there's perks that I can set as well. Pack me equip this perk to get this effect. No. Oh. oh, okay, so the actual skill point that I use actually unlocked a perk, and then the perk you would then equip over here in your loadout. Um cool beans. Okay. All right, so now at this point, I think we're actually going to go out to a battlefield, finally. I'd like to show some of the combat here.
So you have a guided mode, it's activated by default, and the objectives are indicated on the map. And in exploration mode, you use clues to find your targets. So that's kind of like um, a little bit of a Breath of a Wild type approach. Uh, I'm definitely going to go with the guided mode. Okay. Now we can... Ooh, we can fly somewhere. I do not know how to fly the helicopter. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. That's a pretty simplistic approach. Uh, okay, so where are we going? Actually, need to go up there. Which is north of my location. Way north of my location. All right, so each of these little smoke stacks is probably somewhere we want to go so that we can get a fast travel point. So we got that point. We're going to keep rolling up north here. I don't believe I saw any kind of a uh, tutorial on how to use the drone. I don't know how to equip the drone or anything, so we're going to have to try that out, too. Alright, that, that that area is definitely a uh, an enemy stronghold there. Alright, so the boats should be right around here. Go ahead and land this on the beach. I landed over here. Whoa! See if I can land this without smashing the whole helicopter apart. Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked. I, I work uh, for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. 
I can get these bolts back to that ship. Then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. This is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No, uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, uh, not, not, not badly. Uh, we left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. Evil drones. Evil drones. Well, there goes the boat. Shit. More bad guys. Everyone take cover! Are you serious? Hey, what's up? Oh my god, they're coming right on top of me. Good lord. True grit technique. What does that even mean? Ah! This is retarded. I'm dead. They they just came up on me and just kicked my friggin' ass. Uh. Oh man, dude. Oh, if I didn't have to reload every ten seconds. So. Do I have to go through that whole? I'm not going through that whole thing again. Through that. Um, let's go and see if we can do one of these Ghost Wars missions. Right, well, let's just see if we can play Ghost, Ghost Wars. Four on four, best of three, elimination sabotage. That sounds good. So this is the first time I've actually looked at the multiplayer aspect of this. So we'll see what that's like. Probably about as good as the rest of the game. <laughs> We might come back then to a, a side mission and see if I can do a side mission or or even take over a base maybe when we're done with the multiplayer aspect. I just want to kind of show off the drone aspect and some of the, the just the tactical approaches because right now we've really only seen cutscenes and then that that little bit of me getting my butt whooped by the, the AIs that came in. Okay. Okay. If they still like got this thing, get it up soon. They... Keep in mind, I, I do not control anything that these people say, so whatever they say is what's going to happen. I don't know, can anybody hear me? I sh Oh, okay, push to talk. 
Do I have it on push to talk right now? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a sabotage. I'm gonna be a defender. The R&D center. Secure both objectives. Don't let the enemy place their charges. Do I have access to the drone? No, but I have access to the night vision. I'm gonna sort of stick with one of my dudes here. One entering the building. Tracking an enemy drone. I heard one hit, man. Oh boy, oh boy. He's right there on my body. One of your teammates is injured. Damn it, man. Y'all sure make it hard on a fella. Then they're just supposed to be defending. <laughs> mm. You sure do make it hard on a fella. Where'd he shoot you from? They're all in that building. Well, won't we'll go in that building. He's right there at that corner still. Same corner. Look him up. I'm dropping medical supplies over here. Take Target eliminated. Nice. Should be one more. One more. Yeah, good. Hostiles are shooting. Nice, I'm resident. The hostiles have just Don't marked the bomb at objective B. Defuse it before it blows. One more. Well, he's got to be on the phone. Don't worry, I got you. Keep uh, down. I got shot from A. Yeah, they sniped you from it's back over on the other side. They see me. I need syringes. Move. Alright, you ready? Heal up. I have no heal. It's done. <laughs> Give me right. Sweet. That one dude would kicked ass. Yep, turning the frames up sure does help. Don't make you do that bounce. Yeah, I knew some shit was going on. Yeah, when you were saying something about that, I kind of, I was like, that's weird because, I mean, yeah, something had to be wrong there. Game runs faster for me in windowed mode. Only time I run window mode is if I'm alt tabbing a lot, really. That's exactly what I'm doing for our very video. I th actually, I think I'm in. One of the objectives. I'm in border, so borderless window. Sit there and play with me. But damn, I mm -hmm. can move. Three seconds, I pick y'all up. Damn, yeah, I was thinking about change my perk to quick hands too. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're lagging here. Okay, here we go. I thought we were gonna blow up the uh, the PC here. I don't want it to freeze. They went in the building, I think. At least one of them. Hostiles are shooting. Enemies Hit that ass up, Good didn't kill. I? Hit that ass up, didn't I? Come get you some. I think the other one's at the other end. I'm gonna go find him. Yep, I hear you. Throwing a frag. I'm oh, he's behind me too. There's injured. one in front of me. Watch it. One in the back corner and one's behind on this uh One's in that built in that room. Got two by me at A. 
Uh, he must have come out because that, they shot out of that corner. Be careful, there might be one up there. There he is, he's up there, just like I said. Yeah, up in that corner. Enemy drone is marked. Uh, right in I, that corner. I literally don't know which corner he's talking about. Charge oh. sensor. He's patching up. Run. Target down. Target down. He ain't gonna fall over from stupid. Wigged out. He's in this building. Upstairs. It's out on the deck, I believe. Fuck, there's a guy in this top building here. Oh, pick me up. I'll get you all patched up. Run behind you. Oh. down. He so jumped. Down. Down. Yeah, he jumped and ran out. He jumped and ran out and killed him. Why was he trying to save me? <sighs> Fuck. Don't try and save me. What are you doing, man? I am the last person you want to save. <laughs> Running back out and across it. Dude, he's coming behind you. Come up there. A teammate's been hurt. God what? damn it. What the hell was that? Your team I was wondering what the hell he was doing. All ghosts are KIA. Well, he was pre-firing. No, I mean, I don't know why you were staying there. They already knew you were there. Yeah, I figured I'd have a chance. All right, well, it's a best of three, so hopefully we win the next one. Defend bull targets from demolition attack. Let's just all stay middle. No, they're gonna push. I'd like to at least see one of the enemies so that I can friggin' shoot. That just came in bottom down here. Chucking a sensor. Oh, shit. Got your gunfire. Ooh, I thought I had him. Did I even hit him? Taking rap. Target eliminated. I'm healing up. Med kit. Come and get it. Hostile. Hostile. Target down. One enemy left. Very nice. Very oh, nice. nice. Thank you. Never better. Uh, one of these shot, shot me. But way behind B. To the west. He's on me. 
He's on me. Enemies down. Good kill. Hell All yeah, dude. Forces have been eliminated. Well, I barely uh, did anything in that match, but we did get the win. That was the most important part. <laughs> You guys want to back out or play again? Whatever. Cause I got five revives. And four kills. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and quick quit out of the multiplayer. Uh, I mean, not, not really my taste of things to do, but um, hey, got the win, which is, which is cool. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, wait. Uh, or do I? Yes, I do. It completely changes the game when you're in this mode. So let me go ahead and quit out of that. And let's see if we can just do a side mission where we kind of, uh, you know, mark targets with the drone. And um, maybe take like a base or something. And then I'll, I'm going to call this this video. So, yeah, let me see if there's a nearby side mission we can do here. As it loads up. By the way, I don't think I said this, but I am running this on PC. Uh, I did say we, I'm playing with the Uplay Plus, so yeah, obviously I'm playing on PC. Um, but this is available on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 as well. Um... Do, 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 do. So, I should have a fast travel point, and I do. Go ahead and pop over this fast travel point. I think there were some missions near here. Or at least a base near here. So, pin this one. That looks like intel. Yep, collectible intel. Loot! Nice. Got a new heavy machine gun, it looks like. We'll go ahead and equip that right here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna need to go to the west to get to the side mission we wanna get to. Where the heck the interface go? There we go. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell the drone is. Well figured out. Oh, okay, so there's gonna be bad guys at this truck. Oh, there they are. There we go. Okay, drone. All right. Mark the targets. Gather intel on the targets. Okay, there's our target, so we're going to go ahead and take these guys out. Now we can do this stealthily, or we can just run and gun it. I find that doing stuff stealthily is more the appropriate approach in this game, but for the hell of it, I'm going to go ahead and just kill these dudes. I don't think they caught any reinforcements. Go 
ahead and get this stuff. Yay, I got a hat. Sink shot drone. Oh, neat. You can sink shot. So the drone can kill people then. Neat. Is this dude goodbye <laughs> oh lightning strike perfect oh see now that was fun that was neat okay that was enjoyable so can I not drive this thing apparently not apparently I can't drive this vehicle oh shit Okay, let me try this uh, drone sink thingy. I know they're out there in the dark. Night. Two. Okay, they're coming right up on my ass. Hello. Goodbye. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! I don't know what that symbol means. Does that mean they're a badass? I think that means they're a badass. Run. Running! Running! Hopefully there's no bad guys near this truck. Trump, go in the... No, no. Investigate the... No. Invest it. Nope. I, I, know. I want you to invest. Uh, no, nope. Okay. Fuck it. Get in the truck. Drive the truck. No, I don't want you to do that. Why? Oh my god. Why won't you not? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Would you get in the fucking driver's side? Thank you. That is the biggest pain in the ass. All right. Go ahead and scope out this little area here. And the way he does that dive it makes it sound like he's taking a dump or something. I don't see the thing where I can do the that shot or whatever. Only people that are here. Okay. Well, we'll just go through this complex then, I guess. Hi. You able to shed some light on this information? I've said everything I know. Thanks a million.
All right, so basically my next mission then. So let's get back in our truck here. Is to go and get the... Is it to get the blueprint or is it just to get the weapon? That's what I don't know. So we're gonna go and get that weapon. Hey, what's up, yo? Hey, what's up? Uh oh, they're mad. They're mad now. Good lord. Fuck it. No! <laughs> well, <laughs> that's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> oh, I mean, I know I wasn't the most tactical there, but I just can't stand playing this game. It's just, it's just more of the same in terms of the service games that have the loot, and then you just have points on a map that you go to, and you collect collectibles and guns and loot and I don't know I just had my fill of those type of games at least I don't know the military ones anyway but yeah that is Ghost Recon Breakpoint I want to thank you all very much for um, tuning in and we will see you guys next time Boom, boom.